Let us put ourselves in the presence of God. All together, let us pray the prayer for protection from Psalm chapter 5 verses 1 to 7. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Listen to my words, O Lord, and hear my sighs. Listen to my cry for help, my God and my King. I pray to you, O Lord, you hear my voice in the morning. At sunrise I offer my prayer and wait for your answer. You are not a God who is pleased with wrongdoing. You allow no evil in your presence. You cannot stand the sight of the proud. You hate all wicked people. You destroy all liars and despite violent, deceitful people. But because of your great love, I can come into your house. I can worship in your holy temple and bow down to you in reverence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello grade 10, we are now in our module 3. This is scheduled on September 27 to 28. Our lesson for September 27 to 28 talks about other types of sequences. So let us learn together. So we have the following objectives. So that's 6. So I hope we attain those objectives in studying about harmonic sequence and the Fibonacci sequence. And for our DWSSI I go, so we have three. So again, we are doing this DWSSI I goals because it will be the ways in order for us to be aligned in our vision and mission as a school. So let us first discuss harmonic sequence. Do you remember last time that we have discussed about arithmetic sequence? So, arithmetic sequence is also in relation with the harmonic sequence because harmonic sequence is a set of numbers listed in a specific order such that their reciprocal form an arithmetic sequence. So, I have two words here, reciprocals and arithmetic sequence. Reciprocals, so kung sa Tagalog, kabaliktaran, no? babaliktarin natin yung fraction. How about arithmetic sequence? Remember that we have to remember in arithmetic sequence the common difference. So how do you get the common difference? So it is found by subtracting the first term from the second or the second from the third and so on. We'll be using this for our harmonic sequence. So let's try to inspect some sequences here. So presented by Hisuka. Alright, so let's try. We have here sequence, the terms, and the reciprocal of the terms. And for the last part, let's find the common difference. So why in this pattern? Because at first glance, you cannot see the pattern in here. Remember that math is the science of pattern. So there should be an, a specific pattern in mathematics so that you can learn faster. So let's see. In the given, okay, find the reciprocal. So how do you do that? Reciprocal of the terms. What is the reciprocal of 1? So it's 1. It's still 1. 1 half. So that's 2. So why 2? Look at that very carefully. For your numerator and denominator, babalik ta rin nyo lang po yan. So that will be 2 over 1 or 2. The same with 1 third, 1 fourth, and 1 fifth. Again, the ellipsis is shown, meaning to say the given terms are infinite. So let's find the common difference. The common difference is 1. So why 1? We have to subtract 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus 2 is 1. They have common, the term here is common difference. So they should have a common difference. Pag wala pong common difference, hindi po siya harmonic. So the numbers is not in harmony. That's uh, in simple words. Okay, so let's try the next one. How about 1 fifth? So do you know already how to find or get the reciprocal of the terms? So balik tarin nyo lang. Okay, so what do you think are the answers? Alright, so here it, here's the numbers, the given. So what's the common difference? So subtract. 9 minus 5, is that the same with 13 minus 9? Alright, the common difference is 4. So let's try this one. Okay, so inspect that very carefully. What's the reciprocal of 2? Okay, that's good. That's 1 half. Please 
we are talking here of the reciprocal and not the additive inverse. So if the number is given as negative 8, its reciprocal is negative 1 2. It's still negative. It's not an additive inverse. We are just talking of the reciprocal. Kabaliktaran lang ng number at wala siyang pakialam sa integer niya or sign niya. Okay, so it doesn't affect. So what's the common difference? Ayan na. So you have to subtract fractions. So that's negative 5 over 8. Let us now identify if the given is a harmonic sequence or not a harmonic sequence. In order for us to identify, we will follow this given steps. For our first example, look at the given and let us try to identify if the given is harmonic or not following steps A to C. For the first step, let us give the arithmetic sequence associated with the harmonic sequence. In order to do this, just find the reciprocal of the given. So from the given, we have 1, 4, 7, 10, and so on. Now let us now identify the common difference. To identify the common difference, just subtract the second term and from the first term. So 4 minus 1 is 3, 7 minus 4 is 3, and so on. If you have a common difference, then you can now identify if the given is harmonic or not. If the common difference is 3, just like in the given, and we have a common difference, therefore, the given sequence is harmonic. For example number 2, the same steps will be followed. First, find the reciprocal of the given, and then identify the common difference. So, in this case, we have a common difference which is negative 2. If the given has a common difference, then the given is also harmonic. For our third example, we have the sequence 6, 4, 2, and so on. So, first, you have to identify the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 6 is 1 over 6, 4 is 1 fourth, 2 and 1 half, and so on. Let us now identify the common difference. So, just subtract. 1 fourth minus 1 sixth, that is 1 over 12, and 1 half minus 1 fourth is 1 fourth. Now look at your difference. Is there a common difference? We have two common differences in the given 1 over 12 and 1 fourth. So, meaning to say, we do not have a common difference, and therefore, our example is not harmonic. Okay, so for your stretching activity, Answer concept and skills number 2 and 8 only ha. 2 and 8 only. Page 35 of your math plus book. Of your textbook. So, nasa page 35 numbers 2 to 8 only. But, the direction is not from the book. So, your direction. Okay. So, you will have 3 answers following this. So, for number 2. And 8, so answer first the letter A. Identify the common difference. Sunod na sagot nyo, ano yung arithmetic sequence. So if you think this lesson is, this video is fast, no? Pag-explain ni teacher, i-play and replay lang po ninyo. Okay? So that's your first activity. Don't forget to answer that one. So let us now find the 20th term of the harmonic sequence. 1 over 15, 1, 9, and 1 third. This is an infinite, infinite sequence. So as you can see, we have an ellipsis in there using these five steps. So first, what do you think are the reciprocals of the terms? Very good. That's 15, 9, and 3. The next, identify A sub 1 and D. What's A sub 1? A sub 1 is our first term. D is the common difference. So what's our first term? This is the first term. That's 15. How do you get D or the common difference? That's 9 minus 15. So what's that? 9 minus 15. Uh, yes, 9 minus 15 is negative 6. 3 minus 9 is negative 6. Alright. A sub 1 is 15. The common difference is negative 6. So step 3, let us use the uh, given formula. Alright. Then substitute after identifying our A sub 1 and D or the first term and the common difference. So 
So, ang galing yung 15, that's the first term. 20, we are asked to find that 20th term. Alright, minus 1, that's the given. D is the common difference. So, let's simplify. So, 20 minus 1 is 19 times negative 6 plus 15, that's negative 99. Fourth step, find the reciprocal of the n term. So, the n term here is negative 99. So, what's the reciprocal? 1 over 99. So, that's 1 over 99. So, that's good. Then, let us try to write our conclusion. Therefore, the 20th term of the harmonic sequence, 1 over 15, 1 over 9, 1 over 3 is negative 1 over 99. So, again, play and replay this video in order for you to understand better. Alright, so for show you know, use the five steps for a complete answer. So, answer practice concept and skills number 12 and 15 only. Dalawa lang ha, 12 and 15 on page 36 of your Math Plus textbook. So, it is very important to have your own textbook. Fibonacci sequence class is a progression of numbers. I have told you several times that math is pattern. A very nice example of this is Fibonacci sequence. So, look at that very carefully. And do you know that Fibonacci sequence is also related to the golden ratio? So, look at that very carefully. And how about this? beauty of the Fibonacci sequence in nature. See? Do you see the beauty of math and this nature? So let us try to understand Fibonacci sequence more. On page 37 of your textbook, that is already our enrichment exercises, this table is shown, but I have cut the table in order just to show you that Fibonacci sequence is really a pattern. So in here, I use a picture of pineapple. So kung nakikita nyo, di ba yung pineapple may mga mata-mata? Kita nyo may pattern yon. That is an example of a Fibonacci sequence in nature. So let's see. So if 1 is derived from 1 divided by 1 and 2 is derived from 2 divided by 1, so that's from here. Do you see the pattern? What do you think is will be the ratio for the third one? So that's 3 divided by 2. So divide nyo lang po yan, kaya siya naging 1.5. So next, that's 5 divided by 3 or 1.666. This is infinite. na no? Tuloy-tuloy po yung number na yan. Nakita nyo ang ganda ng shell, no? That's already an example of Fibonacci sequence in nature. So what's the pattern now? Again, math is a pattern. Please see the pattern carefully. Eh, i-divide mo sa galing dito, divide papunta doon. So, what's that? So, that's 8 divided by 5 and 13 divided by 8. So, to understand better, let's have more examples on Fibonacci sequence in nature. How about the bees? See? They have also their own, own version of the Fibonacci sequence. A male bee hatches from an unfertilized egg, while a female bee hatches from a fertilized egg. So this means that a male bee has only one parent, a female bee, while a female bee has two parents, one male and one female. So consider this and also consider the rabbit. So kita nyo ma, dito sa Semerara may mga may rabbits dyan, tignan nyo ngang maigi. So, this is already an example of Fibonacci sequence in nature. So, in this video, we tackled harmonic sequence and Fibonacci sequence. So, for more examples and exercises, please refer to your textbook. That's math class 10 pages 28 to 38. So, mas kompleto po yon ang mga examples doon. This video is a supplementary video and a lecture video for you. So what will you answer for our beyond the lesson? So this will be your third activity that will be answered. Remember the first one is your activity, the second one is show you know, and the third is beyond the lesson. So in mathematics videos or modules, you have to answer three activities. So for this example, I have modified a problem in your from your textbook. So in here, DWSSII students will be having 
an art online recital as their performance task in music. So, sa mga nakikinood at nakakanood po nitong video, so paano po nagkakaroon ng recital or performance ang mga estudyante ng Divine? Ang Divine po ay isang school na ang benefactor po namin ay ang Semerara Mining and Power Corporation. Ang SMPC po ang nagfi-finance sa DWSSII students of their different skills ranging from sports, academics, and even music. So we have a free music room in here wherein uh, different instruments are played and taught to the students. So in this specific problem, we'll be applying our harm um, sequence. So it is said in here that a six string instrument will be played by Jeric. The first three string strings in his instruments are for over three meters, one meter and four over five meter long. What should be the length of the three remaining strings so that the instrument will produce our harmonious sound? So Ano ba yan? So, music pala is also math. So, we need a harmonious sound in here. So, you are asked to find three more measurement of the three remaining strings so that the instrument will produce a harmonious sound. So, this is our discussion for other types of sequences. May I remind everyone that in this week, you have to submit your performance task. Okay, remember that we have integrated our performance task with other subjects. Mom Joy already have explained to you what to do in our performance task. Thank you, grade 10. God bless and see you around.